Um, all right, so guys, the video I've been waiting for to release. Um, this was a total of just about a I'm gonna say 90 hours of um, training attack at the uh, Ice Fiends. I want to show you guys a price check of what I made in total, um, and I have a few pictures here. Okay, so this is one of them. So I took a picture of what I had in my Slayer tab video uh, right before I basically left Slayer and started going to the wards, um, the Ice Fiends. So that's how many water uh, orbs I had, uh, battle staffs, and uh, mithril arrows. I also have 51 rune helms, and that's about all I made from this. So, I'm going to take out all my rune helms and water orbs, and I got, I think I got a few of these, I'm just not going to price check those just because I don't know the exact number. Um, that's how many mithril arrows I got, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and I have all my diamonds somewhere, somewhere down here, I think, where are they? Uh, diamonds, there we go, okay, yeah, I got a lot of diamonds, these dropped a fucking crazy amount. Um, I've also got a few other things, but I'm not going to bother price checking that. I got a few tubes and stuff like that. I think I got a few rune chains. But anyways, um, this this is basically the price check right here. So I'm going to bank exactly what I had here. So 13500 Okay, 13500 And I'm going to bank... I had 35 water stamps. Wow, that's very little. Okay, 35 And <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, I got basically a lead amount of this. One, three, three, eight. Okay, so... And I actually got these dwarfs as well, but I didn't have any in my bank before, so that's how many I've got from there. And I think that's about it. I'm curious to see this price. I don't think I'll sell these, but I definitely can't consider it my, uh, my slate. Wow, that was fucking 10 mil. Holy shit. Okay, that's not, this is going to be worth, oh. And this, whoop, and the ultimate mithril arrows. That's it. They're 21 each. What a ripoff. So this took me exactly a week, guys, to get. Um, I guess in a month you could make 100 mil. I probably used maybe about, like, I'm going to say like maybe about a mil worth of prayer pots and stuff like that. I didn't use too many. But yeah, like I said, this took me a week, but I did play for about 80 hours. So you definitely don't want to try that out. Now, things I did not pick up too often was stuff like water talismans. Um, let me just go back to slang or uh, skilling. So yeah, I was just saying, I didn't pick up things like, um, I mean, I did pick up, obviously, most of the water talismans because I did use a pack yak. If you don't use a pack yak, you won't probably get all those water talismans um, or rune full helms, or rune helms, I mean. So as I was saying, things I did not pick up at all because I, did, I had so many in my bank, I just didn't really want to bother because I'm still buying some, as you can see right now in my, in my chat box. Um, they do drop a lot of water talismans, as I showed you guys, and a lot of cannonballs. I actually didn't pick up any cannonballs at all. I'm guessing, honestly, I could have had probably like 4 mil or so from just the cannonballs if I did pick them all up. I'm, I'm sure I could have got at least 20,000 because, I mean, a few times I'd pick up like a few cannonball drops and it'd be like 150 cannonballs right there. They also drop things like sapphires, you know, uncut, noted. Um, I never bothered to pick them up because I just I didn't start my collection. I didn't want to just start it randomly, so you know, I just kind of afraid myself from picking them up at all. So with all that included, you probably could have profited just about 30 mil um, in, I guess, 80 hours or so. So it's not too good for money, but sadly enough, I think it, this place will start getting botted sometime in the future. Meaning all those things that is price check will probably go down besides the uh, the Rune Helms and the Battle Sass. Those things you can out for like the same price. But yeah, quite crazy, I guess you can say. Uh, I would not recommend this for a money making guide. But oh yeah, and I, I didn't show you guys my Crimsons I got. But I got just around 22,000 Crimsons. Um, for every 2k experience you get in a combat stat, you get just a little bit over one Crimson. So I mean... It's, it's like if you get 20 million attack experience, you'll get just around 11,000 or so to 12,000 Crimson Charms in total. So you can see I got around 21 or 22,000 Crimsons, um, meaning I think I have around 41,000 Crimsons. I think you guys just saw around there. I believe if I got another 60,000 Crimsons, I could get 200 mil summoning uh, without any bonuses at all. I think besides the 10% bonus with Refer a Friend. Um, so that's quite awesome to know. Um, hopefully they do have a double summoning experience one more time at least. Um, and then, I mean, that's the only thing that sucks. I mean, I kind of want to stop picking up charms with Slayer because it'll make it so much easier and faster and a lot more relaxing. But um, I don't want to take the risk in case they never do double summoning again. Then I, I have to go back and get like a lot of charm. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, once again, would not recommend this for money making. Um, but definitely amazing experience. It's just, a, it's kind of just a bonus to make money from here. Um, I guess at 25 mil or 20 mil, whatever, you can just go and use it on buying yourself like full bandos. Um, all you need for this stuff is either Chaotic Rapiers or the Dragor uh, Rapiers, which is what I used, and just basically uh, Elite PC uh, Armor, Void, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that uh, basically wraps up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next video, and give it a big dig.